Hi, this is Felipe Osorio. In this video on the color correction section, I wanted to basically give you a real life example of color correction and how to match shots. Now, for the purpose of this example, we're not gonna have the true raw files, so we're gonna be a little bit limited to how easily we can match it, but you know, let's just call that a challenge. Uh, I'm gonna have a counter over here so you can see in real life how this is happening. I promise you, I've never seen these shots before, and um, what I can quickly say before I start about color correction is that the basic components of color correction are rather basic. It's something that you can probably learn in a few days or a week. Uh, what makes color correction tricky is actually being able to recognize color nuances and then being able to execute and apply those perceptions uh, to a finalized result. And I you know, worked as a color correction manager for a photo studio for about six years. And from my own personal experience, I can say that it took about two and a half years before uh, my eyes became trained to a level where it just kind of became automatic. So um, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump in. Okay, so over here, uh, basically I've compiled two different images. I have never looked at these images before. And so my goal here is to basically match the bottom image uh, to the uh, top image, which is the final result for the film. So uh, I've separated the layers. As you can see, there's two layers over here. And uh, so, yeah, let, let's start this. So right off the bat, um, I can tell that there is definitely a difference in terms of the highlights. So on the uh, image uh, with the matrix, uh, there is basically highlights on, on the green. So what I'm going to start doing here is I'm going to go to the color panel the curves and I'm going to start off with the green over here and see if I can start to match. Now I noticed that even though I'm getting some green there, there is a difference in luminosity. So let's go back to the RGB and let's increase the highlights on the green. And we're starting to get closer and what I'm seeing here is there's a little bit more yellows on the highlights. So let's go to the blues or we'll increase the blues just a little bit in the highlights to see if we can start getting there. As you can see, we're slowly approaching. We'll put a little bit more green on the mids. There we go. It's starting to get a little bit there. And then as well as blues on the mids. And I'm just essentially trying to take out some of that yellow that I'm seeing and probably needs a little bit more green. Okay, so let's increase this contrast. Let's see if we can put a little bit more red on the bottom. And definitely a little bit more contrast on the mids. So I'm, I'm getting closer, but I'm seeing that there's still yellow on the highlights. So I'm going to start pumping a little bit more blue in there. Just a bit more green on the highlights. There we go. We're starting to get a little bit closer. It's not perfect, but it's kind of an example uh, to show you guys how we would uh, do it. Um, normally, I would be using scopes, but you know, this is just kind of like an example to show you guys uh, what we can do uh, with any image, uh, even if it's not a raw image. Um, so yeah, there you go. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's definitely not bad considering that this is, uh, I've, that I've never seen this image and this is not a, a raw image, um, that this is something that has already been essentially processed. So let's move on to the next image and let's see if we can get this a little bit closer. Um, this is a little bit more challenging, but let's see what we can do over here. Okay, so let's quickly make a copy of this. I thought I had this set up. All right, there is the layer. Okay, so obviously there's a lot, way too much blue, so we're gonna start off with the blues. Um, the luminosity doesn't look bad. Uh, it looks like it's very similar, so let's pull out some green from the mids. There's still some blues uh, on the bottom and a little bit more in the highlights and the mids. And let's pull down more of the greens and the mids. And there we go, we're starting to get a little bit closer. I'm gonna pump some red. 
and unfortunately it's starting to get a little bit contrasty so let's take down this contrast and I'm going to take especially from the high since we've been really pumping the highs a lot okay now I'm seeing that there's a little bit too much blue still on the image so let's pull it down even further and we're getting a little bit closer the only problem is there's still too much highlights on uh, in, in terms of luminosity too much highlights on the highs so let's take that down even further uh, and there we go we're starting to slowly get there and just remember that this image uh, is completely processed uh, before so we're actually working off something that is highly limited in terms of color information but uh, you know like I said it's not perfect but that's what we can do in the short amount of time with unprocessed image and just to give you guys a sh uh, quick look of what it's like to match uh, shots uh, with color correction so I uh, thank you so much for uh, following me this far and I hope that you are convinced that I can uh, deliver the result that you're looking for